mailing lists. Pain in everyone's backside, but sometimes a necessary evil. The way of the world, I'm afraid. Whether you're running a, a, a project or lists for your family so that you all get the same communication, whatever the reason, sometimes a, a mailing list is just better than a, a ton of aliases. I was using Mailman a long time ago. I just find it big and clunky and okay, everything's built into it, but it's just, it's, it's too much. <laughs> so I thought I'd follow the FreeBSD project's lead and try MLMMJ. And I've been trying to get it to work for a long time and I just couldn't get it running. And now I have. So let's take a look at that. Pretty sure this mug is made for a lefty, not a righty. And I meant hands, not political. Let's not go there. MLMMJ. Simple, fast, <laughs> effective. This happens like a medication. Oh dear. It took me ages to get this to work with uh, with Postfix, and it was because of me. There were, there were two reasons why I didn't get it working, and we'll cover them in a little bit. But let's let's go through the setup for MLMMJ, and then move on from there. Let me bring up a browser. Uh, not that one. Let's use this one. So, the the good thing about MLMMJ is the documentation is fairly good. It, it, it's simple, but it's it's all there. So, I installed the package from FreeBSD's package repository, just package install MLMMJ, and then I had to add a few bits to my Postfix configuration, and that was basically it. So let's quickly run through. Now, bear in mind that this, my mail server is using virtual domains. So your mileage may vary on this, but mine, this is how it works perfectly. So let's jump into the, the, the terminal and I'll show you what I got. So let's go to user local ECC postfix. And there's all of my configuration files. Now the two that we need to, to play with, well actually there's three, but we'll come to the third one later, is the main.com uh, CF. So main CF. I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. And there are, if I remember rightly, three lines that I need to add. Well actually five, but we'll get to the other two in a minute. So the first one is MLMMJ underscore destination underscore recipient underscore limit equals one. So let's find that. There it is right at the bottom there. Fantastic. The next one is the recipient underscore delimiter equals plus. So let's quickly find that. There it is. And then the next one is propagate underscore unmatched underscore extensions equals virtual. Again, because I'm running virtual domains, this applies to me. And there it is. Now there were two other bits and we'll just quickly cover those now. And that is the virtual alias maps and the transport maps. Now, if I remember rightly, only one of them applied to me. I could be wrong. Let's have a quick look. No, nope, they both applied, that's right. So there we go. I've got my normal aliases in a MySQL database and we're not gonna touch MySQL, you just don't need to. But there is my hash vastball mmj virtual and i'll show you that file in a little while and the last one in this file is a transport map which is there we go so i have two i have my normal postfix transport and my mm ml mmj transport i wish they'd have chose a better name i'd love to know what it means does it say what it means okay it's inspired by mlm mailing list manager so there's my transport up there was my virtuals. Let's take a look at those files before we go any further. So var spool ml mmj and there are two there. Now just remember when changing these files you need to post post map. Is it post map? Post map, yeah. So let's have a quick look at the transport. There we go. So you're mapping one to the, the mailing list. So anything coming in on my domain sends it to ml mmj testing and you'll see that structure right there and there's the virtual which maps the actual email address 
to MLMMJ's mailing address. It's quite simple. Let's go back to Postfix and look at master. 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 Dot CF. And here it is. So flags, and it does tell you on their web page what the flags are about, but we're not going to cover that too much. We're just going to copy what it says. Let me just let's think as how to scene. We're literally just copying that and then changing the path to whatever we need it to be. As it happens, these paths are actually correct. So if we go back to my terminal, use a local bin, ML MMJ receive, minus F minus L, fastball ML MMJ next hop. And that's all we need in Postfix configuration, except for something that screwed me up for quite a long time. And I will come back to that. So, car, spool, ML, MMJ. Then all we needed to do was create a new list. And to create a new list was fairly simple. You just run the command make ML. Where the directory is, we'll stick with that. Put in your qualified name or domain name. Actually, let's put in, choose the language. We don't want the alias. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I can't remember. MLMMJ. MLMMJ. Don't forget to add that to your cron tab. You can do it for us. That'd be lovely. There we go. So now that we've done that, let's just adjust our transport and our virtuals. So you see this localhost.mlmmj. It has to be a non-qualified domain name. It hung me up for ages trying to get that to work. Well, that should be correct. Let me just double check. ML MMJ test. ML MMJ test. Yep. So post map. What was that? Transport. Okay. And let's look at the virtual. So it was ML MMJ test at carryhtech.uk. And it will be, there we go. Post map virtual, there we go. If I tail my mail log, trivial rewrite, table hash has changed, restarting. Okay, now, just to cover that bit that really hung me up for a long, long time, and it is in my postfix directory. And I just wanna, just wanna tell you what it was. It's basically a little function in postfix called post screen. It's like a pre-screening of, of all the connections. And it wasn't allowing anything from, well, I'll show you. Let's quickly go into it. Host screen access. There you go. It wasn't allowing anything from localhost or 127.0.0.1. And it took me ages to find it because it was one line in the mail log that was just scrolling past so quick, I just didn't see it. And it took me weeks to figure this out. <laughs> and I just happened to see it. I was lucky to see it. So. Put that in, post map it, because it needs to be a DB, and then you should be good to go. Now I'm gonna quickly test it. No, I'm not, because I need to add people to it. Right, let's subscribe my email address. <sighs> so, mlmmj underscore sub, underscore hyphen sub, path to list, art, spool, mlmmj, mlmmj test, minus a, and then the email address of the person you want to subscribe. Of course it does. Hate it when it does that. There we go. So if I now go into bar spool MLMMJ, MLMMJ hyphen test, I'll see this structure. And if I go into, where is it? Subscribers.d, see one listed for G, and cat that, and it's just my email address. The last thing that we can look at where is it? Is the control directory because that allows you to set stuff. Now, if you look, there's already a list address and the owner, which there you go. Cat list address, there it is. Now, you can add custom headers, you can add footers, you can add all sorts of things. So, let's do that while we're sat here. So, let's add a custom header by adding this file. What we can do is add in the headers that we want. So I'm just going to bung these in. Now you can put list subscribe and list unsubscribe. They'll show up as headers. I'm not going to bother with that just for this. So now I've got my custom headers and they will be in the post. 
and we'll have a look at that in just a sec. When one comes through, we can add a footer, which is quite simple. Again, I'll just, just copy my other one, and that is MLMMJ test plus unsub CRIBE. There we go. That's the footer. And the last one, which is subject prefix. Now you can do what you like here. That's quite a long one. That's what she said. <laughs> Probably wouldn't normally have it that long, but that will do for now. Now you'll notice that they have been created by the user that you've logged in as. So let's just change the ownership of those. And that is custom footer prefix. Don't want any issues with that coming back saying there's a problem. So let's just tail my mail log and send an email to it, I guess. I fully expect this not to work, so that's just the way things work for me. That's me logging in, let's send that email. So what did I call it? MLMMJ hyphen test. Yeah, testing mail list. Test, exclamation. Let's see what happens. There you go, it's delivered. There we go, it has delivered. There's the uh, custom headers we put in. There's the, the prefix for the subject. Works lovely, simple, just what you want. Let's close that, close that. The only thing that I've now got to sort out, the only thing I've <laughs> gone the whole video without that being there, never mind. The only thing I've now got to sort out is the web view, which is causing its own problems, but we'll probably cover that in another, another video. You want simple mailing lists, MLMMJ is the way forward, I think. It's fairly easy to set up. Just a few commands. Simple. There are hardly any documents about setting up MLMMJ. Well, that, that's not fair. There is. But they don't tell you what happens if you don't do things. Which I, I guess is probably not their problem. You don't cater to stupid, do you? <laughs> but I'm sure there are people that are going to make the same mistakes I did. And hopefully this helps. Um, drop a comment. If you already knew this, then fine. Just skip on by and watch a different video. But yeah, it took me ages to figure this out. And if I hadn't seen that one line for a post screen, I think I'd have just given up. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, or dislike if you really want. Share it. The whole kit and caboodle. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Well, at least that went well. And it actually worked. I like it when that happens. <laughs>